everyone and welcome back to my workshop. Today in the workshop I'm going to show you how to sew a mask and this pattern I got from uh, Germany and I've made quite a few and it goes apart really nicely around your face and especially especially for men this pattern is good because it's a little wider than the ones you buy in the store. So now I'm going to start to show you how to sew this mask. So you're going to need some material. You can pick whatever color you'd like and some scissors and measuring tape, some thread matching to the material, some elastic that you can use for the mask around the ears, some pins, a um, marker, and also a sewing machine. I just want to mention that I'm using uh, cotton, 100% cotton is the best you can use because it's uh, very breathable and I'm using uh, double the material because I'm going to have the same color inside and out. If you want a different color in the inside you need to cut another separate piece and the measurements are 21 centimeters by 19 centimeters down and so I'm going to cut that out now. So here I've cut out the two pieces that I need. Also I need two more pieces which is uh, 12 by 9 centimeters. Here uh, 12 by 9 and I'm going to cut that out. Now it's for the sides to put the elastic through. So now I'm going to take the two pieces the under piece and the over piece here, we're taking two black pieces and the wider part here, we're going to sew the wide part on the top and the wide part on the bottom. So now it's uh, sewn on both sides and we're going to the top and the bottom and we're going to turn this around. We're going to turn this around so that you have a nice clean seam on the top and a seam on the bottom and now we're going to iron this so it's nice and flat. I'm just going to iron the two seams that I just sewn on both the sides like that to make it ready for the next step. As you can see, the next step is to make three even folds. That's what it looks like. And you're going to measure seven centimeters on each side to make sure they're even. And now I'm going to show you how I did this. So you just take your fingers like this and make a fold to the top like that and pin it on each side So the next thing we're going to do is press this with an iron and I'm going to put a tea towel on top to protect the black material a little bit and iron here nicely over on both sides. Turn it around, iron it again on the other side like that. And then now we're going to sew on each side down. So now we're going to sew each side of the ends here on both ends and I've pinned it with extra pins 
so that it'll hold better. So it's best to sew slowly over these folds here so it doesn't bunch up on you. So now we're going to take the two side pieces that we cut and we're going to place it on the end, end, each side of the end and we're sort of going to uh, estimate that it's in the middle so that you have the same amount sticking out on both ends there and we're going to pin that and then we're going to sew I pin this on here on each side like that like that and make sure it's about the same on each end and pin that down and then we're going to sew on each end again so now I'm going to sew both ends that I Put together with the needles. So we're going to turn it around so this is what it looks like. Nice, uh, a clean ends here and so we're going to turn it around and this folds in this piece and we're going to uh, fold over twice and we're going to iron this seam here or pin it like this fold over twice right to the edge so you have a perfect edge here lined up so now I folded over the sides and put pins in over here and now I'm going to sew along the edge here on all four edges I'm going to sew along where I pinned. So the sides are nice and clean looking and the next step is to fold over the end like that and then we're going to fold over and just go past where we sewed the folds just right on there and then we're going to sew we're going to sew down here and pin and sew down here and the same with the other end we're going to fold over once, that's, I don't know, that's like uh, two centimeters and then fold over nice and it's going to look very smart and then we're almost done. Now I'm going to sew as close to this edge here as possible. Take the first needle out and hold it. the needle in and sew nicely along the edge. Now 
The mask is practically finished. We're just going to put the elastic through the ends here. And I usually take about nine inches for the elastic and we'll put it through. This elastic seems to be a little thicker than some others, so I just put a safety pin on the end here and I thread it through the one side and it just slides through very easily. You can take whatever elastic you have. And what I do in this case with this round elastic is I just tie a little knot here on the end like that. And there, it's done. So this is what it looks like. And it opens very nicely like that. And there we go. It's all finished. So thank you for joining me today and enjoy your new mask and please subscribe.